I mean, uh, it's funny, even though, you know, my, my core experience uh, before uh, I've started investing in bio for, for the past five years has been semiconductors. The lens that I've used uh, in looking at IEQ is, is really the lens of a biotech investor rather than, rather than a semiconductor investor or, or a technology investor. I mean, ultimately, right, quantum computers give this promise of enabling us to study complex systems. And human biology is perhaps one of the most complex systems that exist out there. Uh, the, the promise is with a, with a quantum computer, you would really envision this ability to simulate molecules and, and chemical reactions, uh, understand overall molecular structures, modeling human biology, and understand the impact of drugs on biological systems. Now, uh, this is all sort of like in the future. And, and unfortunately today, the quantum computing industry is not ready to address these. However, amongst the low hanging fruits that, that quantum computer can help us in understanding um, is really the modeling biophysical interactions within a specific protein and to optimize that protein structure to achieve certain characteristics, right? I mean, and by the way, by low hanging fruits, I'm not saying this year or next year, it might take five years to do that. But ultimately you would envision that for a certain uh, protein, you could play with the molecular structure or model changes to the molecular structure to, to allow you to understand, uh, you know, how would you stabilize a protein? How would you increase the solubility of a protein? And, you know, we've, we've spent a ton of time understanding intrinsically structured uh, and disordered proteins, uh, you know, and modeling these proteins in silico uh, at the biophysical layer, using various quantum mechanics based models, you know, to allow us to really better understand it and ultimately develop molecules that can inhibit these molecules, these, these specific proteins down the line, right? Like um, this promise, again, it's, it's not eminent. The true reality is, you know, quantum computers will need five to 10 years minimum to enable us to do all the above, right? But uh, IMQ is working on, you know, quantum machine learning algorithms that can solve much simpler problem that a classical computer would potentially be able to solve albeit with ultimate, you know, ultimately an infinite amount of resources that are needed to solve it in a classical computer, you'll be able to solve it on a quantum computer.